watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be taking a look at a Victorinox Tinker. I'm going to do a review of this guy. We'll take a closer look at that. But first I want to give some shout outs to four different guys in the community. All fantastic people here. So Randy over at Randy's WSG has got a knife channel. You want to make sure you go check him out. He just sent out some new stickers. He sent out some stickers before but I guess he updated his and now he has this round one that's kind of sort of the normal thing to have is the round sticker and then we've got singing toad he's also updated his sticker uh he put a little maple leaf on there to let you guys know he's of canadian nationality so shout out to dave over at singing toad make sure you're subscribed to him if you're not already and then we've got mike curtis mike curtis a long time commenter of the channel really f nice fella he's got a fantastic collection very large collection much larger than mine and he's doing shorts videos on YouTube now, so make sure you go check out Mike and watch all his shorts. And we've got a new channel here, Baxter's Blades. He's new to the traditional games, kind of getting involved in the traditional knives now, making some YouTube videos. So we decided to do a, a sticker swap. He's also known as the Tired Tiger. You might know him by that name. But uh, yeah, Baxter's Blades. So make sure you subscribe to all these channels, Randy, Randy WSG, Singing Toad, Mike Curtis, and Baxter Splates. All right, so let's get into this review here of this Victorinox. All right, so this has got to be one of the most common of all Victorinox knives, the Tinker. It's a, a two-layer 91 millimeter design, and they just recently offered this on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. If you bought any Victorinox knife, you got this for free. So, you know, I picked up something and then got this free of charge. So, really nice deal there. These usually run about $21, $22 on Amazon. So, heck of a deal there. More than uh, paid for shipping just by getting this for free. But we'll click, quickly run down uh, the packaging here and then I'll remove it and we'll do a, a closer look of it. But we've got 12 functions. Uh, official, you know, Swiss Army knife from Victorinox. Going to say that on the, on the knife itself. And there you can see it says Tinker. We've got the combo blade, the small blade, the large blade, and the can opener with the little four or three or four millimeter tip there. And if we look at the back, it kind of goes through all the functions here. We've got 12 functions, large blade, small blade, Phillips screwdriver, uh, can opener. Uh, what else we got? The small screwdriver, the bottle opener with the large screwdriver blade and then the wire stripper the reamer the key ring tweezers and the toothpicks toothpick so all right so let me get this opened up and then i'll come right back and we'll take a closer look all right so now we've got it opened up and there you go we can see that this is a two-layer design there's your key ring there you're going to count that as a function pretty nice and slender these two layers are really easy carries. Um, you can put them in a large slip, fit pretty well in there. A little tight for uh, a medium slip, unless you really have it broken in. Here's an example of one. You can get it in there. It's a little tight for uh, as thick as it is, but you know, it'll fit. This may be a little stiff pulling it out. So medium or large Rough Rider slip for, works fine. But uh, yeah, so. 91 millimeters equates to, again, three and a half inches. Any of the 91 millimeters that we've looked at kind of just uh, fall right into that three and a half inch range. We've got the red Celador handles here with the nice Swiss Army shield on there. Nice shiny Celador, no scratches or anything on it, just brand new out of the package. Beautiful knife. Very consistent on both sides. Of course, we've got the tweezers, and they're key coated with that little gray handle right and uh that's always on the front and then if we look at the back you got the tweeds or excuse me the toothpick so the toothpick in the back and that's white and then we have our phillips screwdriver and of course uh can be used as a defensive weapon also get a lot of torque with that if you need it but uh yeah just a nice tool to have on there kind of prefer that over the corkscrew then you've got the reamer with the eyelet so you can actually do some 
you know, punch work and then sewing with it. Put some thread or leather through something. Nice and pointy. Has a very good sharp edge and that grind on there. It's wedge shaped. So really nicely done there. Gives you a really sharp edge and you can use it as an awl, of course. Poke some holes and things. Widen your shoelace hole, whatever you need to do. And let's look at the main blade set here. So we've got the two blades on the one layer here, the large blade. Mirror finish on that with that very narrow grind on it, very light grind. They've done such a great job on that. I don't know how Victorinox pulls that off, but they do a fantastic job. Seems like on every blade grind. Nice clean nail neck there, very easy to pull. And of course this being more of a modern one, we've got the Victorinox Swiss made stainless on the tank stamp. Then on the ver reverse we have Officer Swiss. So Swiss Officer Knife. Swiss Army Knife. And then if we look at our secondary cutting blade, we've got this little spear point blade. Again, that nail neck, very easy to access. Good snap on the blades. Really good pull. I'd say about a four on the pull, but it just does lock up really well. And you always feel like you have a really good lock up there for, you know, confidence and use. So just do like the way that they design that snap lock up. If we measure this main blade, it's going to be like any standard 91 millimeter. Got the two and three quarter inch total length, and then a cutting edge right shy of two and a half, so let's say two and three eighths. Just a fingerprint magnet out of the box there. Really shiny, nice blades. This one has a snap, I'd say about again, about a five, maybe four and a half, maybe. But it just locks up so well, and it's more like a, a seven pull on a normal knife. So, very good. And then we've got our opening layer or your opening tools. So you've got the, what is that, that three millimeter blade there. I want to say it is about three millimeters, maybe two and a half with the uh, flat tip there. And then you've got the can opener, very sharp inside there. And those do work a treat for opening tin cans. And you can see we've got the nail neck there to open it up, and there is no half stop on the right side. It just goes right into the full position. And a pull on this. This one's a little lighter than some of the ones I've seen, but it's probably about a, well, let's say about a four and a half. But locks up again well. Got a lot of good snap there. You can tell it really pops into place. And then our final blade is the combination of a five millimeter screwdriver tip, the uh, bottle lifter or cap lifter, and then you got the wire stripping blade. So yeah, just a uh, typical style two layer Victorinox Swiss Army knife. This actually has the half stop on this particular one. And again, about a four and a half, five on the pull, but just really good lockup. You can see how that really just locks into place. It's fascinating how well they do that. You get such a light pull, but then such a great snap. So, again, just a fantastic knife from Victorinox. The fit and finish is always great. No blade rub or anything like that. All the blades are easily accessible and easy to work, easy to manipulate. Nice little key ring there again. You can put the lanyard on that or whatever you like. Slip that right into your pocket or use a medium slip or a large slip, whatever you prefer. And you're good to go. Great tool set, slim design, great little carry, very common and very affordable. Swiss Army knife. 
But that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. And we'll see you next time. Take care.